Oh, it's so hot. Summer's in full swing. You're hot, I'm hot, so let's just keep those hot vibes going. In this video right here, Tally and I are gonna show you how to paint this very simple Arizona desert sunset. This is perhaps the easiest painting tutorial you will ever find on YouTube. And the best part about it is no joke, I'm gonna be sweating through this entire tutorial. So here we go. Ah, oh, why is it so hot? This is a horrible idea to videotape this during the midday. Good God. Hey, I just want to let you know if you plan on painting along with us, the products, colors, and supplies are listed down in the video description below. This entire tutorial is done in acrylic paint, but if you're an oil artist out there, hey, don't worry about it. You can easily do this in oils. Now, on to the tutorial. We're going to start with our desert sky. To achieve our nice Arizona sky, we're going to be using purple, red, orange, and two yellows, one medium, one light. Now apply these colors to your canvas and blend into a gradient. Work from your lighter colors to your darker ones for best results. Plus this will also help you from cleaning your paint brushes as much, which as we know, that's not the fun part of painting. To make your sky extra smooth, take a clean two inch brush and brush back and forth across your entire canvas. Arizona sometimes has these beautiful bands that form in their sky due to their clouds. To mimic this look, we can take a clean one or two inch brush with just a little bit of water on it and scratch off some of the purple that we put in the top left corner. Now, in those gaps right there, add a little more red and lightly blend together. Now we can move on to our landscape and we need to start by making three purples. We need to make a light purple, medium purple, and dark purple. Make sure you make more of your dark purple color, a little bit more on this later. To make your light purple color, all we need to do is just take a one-to-one -one ratio of purple and white and mix it together. To make our medium purple, I recommend just take purple straight from the tube. If you have a dark purple, just add a light sliver of white to it to make it stand out a little bit more. For your dark purple, just take a one-to-one -one ratio of your purple and black, and there you go. The light purple will form our farthest mountain range or sand dunes, depending on what you're trying to make. Make sure to add some angles to your mountains and sand dunes. This will add a lot of depth to your painting and make it stand out a lot more. I prefer to work from farthest away to closest, but Tally has his own method. So basically just drop in the remaining mountain ranges or dunes with the corresponding colors. Medium purple will be for the midsection and dark purple will be for the foreground. Using an angle shader or dagger brush and a script liner brush, we can add in some cactuses or cacti. Wait, what is the difference between cactuses and cacti? Aren't they both the plural version of cactus? I need to look this up. Cacti is the Latin plural of cactus and for English speaker is a more popular usage. Well, cactuses is the English plural and is also completely acceptable to use. The dictionary lists both as the correct form and leaving it up to the user. Huh, no shit. I guess you learn something every day. When painting in your cacti, there's really no right or wrong way to it. Just add in upward stems at different heights wherever you think it works best. What I do want you to pay attention to is the perspective. By putting your bigger cactuses on the left and right side of your canvas and the smaller ones near the center, you're building more depth and distance in your painting. Now, add as many or as few as you like. I mean, it is your desert after all. If you're a brand new painter or you're just scared to start painting, do this painting tutorial here. I think you will be amazed at what you can accomplish with a few simple colors and brushes. It's really awesome. If you wanna show your appreciation, you can do a few things. Hey, how about you hit that super thanks down on the right hand corner if you do use this painting tutorial and spread a little love our way. Also just a few bucks. But hey, if you wanna hit like and subscribe or become a YouTube channel member, I would also appreciate that. And if you wanna to try to take your painting skills to the next level, you know what you can do? Check out this video over to the side that's gonna show you how to paint a simple California sunset. It's pretty much the same thing, but it's gonna take your skills to the next level. Don't trust me? Hey, how about you just check it out and I'll see you later. Peace.